So we have Sandra here, and she has some grown-out highlights. She got some some little breakage action happening back here. I'm going to give her a little bit of a trim after the fact. I don't want to obviously create any more damage or you know compromise the integrity of her hair. But I'm only using 10 volume of developer, so that's what I've been really really loving with the white lightning bleach. That's a lot. White lightning bleach powder. So um, I've been able been able to get like crazy levels of lift with this lightener with only 10 volume. So I've been posting online, I've been getting from like a level, natural level one or two to a level 10 in one session with 10 volume, 10 or 20 volume. And it's been blowing my mind, I, I, it's crazy. But yeah, so I've got the white lightning bleach powder with 10 volume developer. I've got uh, one part of the powder to two parts of the developer. The reason why I like the white lightning um, is what you see is what you get. Also the viscosity I feel like is way, I mean I feel like it's a little creamier with the white. It's just a preference thing, totally a preference thing. Um, I get the um, the consistency or the viscosity kind of like of a royal icing with the white and the lift is out of this world great. <laughs> really, really great. It's one of the best lighteners I've used in years in my personal opinion. Um, and still gentle, so it's like effective. AF and gentle. So how 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 you guys have done that? I don't know, but it's really great. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, four to five drops when it's the one scoop to two parts developer. So that was maybe six or seven because I've like tripled up. So and I found this doesn't slow down the process and there's no step two and it really protects the hair. So her ends are pretty dry and compromised. Even though I'm using a 10 volume, I want to keep the lightener away from her ends, no overlapping happening, brightening up around the face, breaking up that grow out line of demarcation, obviously keeping it like as healthy as possible. And then the tone, like a champagne tone. I'm going a little bit further back because again, I'm just adding brightness and pops. I'm not full on highlighting her today. So. That's what I'm doing for over here. And then I'll probably do a couple more woven sections and then I'm gonna really start back combing to diffuse further and further back that I go. I'm brick laying this one just a, just a tiny scotch. And I'll probably diffuse this one too with a back comb. That's even a little too tiny for my, my taste, so I'm gonna push that one out. And I love this board, this foiling. Do you see the little teeth up there? Because I can't always get the back combing that I'm after with uh, the comb. And I feel like that pushes it the rest of the way and gets the hairs out for me. What I'm aiming for is not to have to do a shadow root. I don't want to if I don't have to. I want to just be able to tone and keep it super simple. And then she has kind of a, a nice fade back here. You guys see? already, there's not really a root to address or touch up. So I'm gonna create kind of a, a V situation, but I do not want to keep lightener on the ends for that long. And that's what's gonna happen until we go and pull the blonde to the ends. Then I'm gonna move over to the other side, do the same thing. So what I didn't do, that I should have done and that I would do in a salon is use the treatment spray beforehand to fill her very porous ends. All right, so I'm just doing the same exact thing on this side that I did over there. And I'm just feathering it like up to the scalp. You know what I find too with this lightener? It does not swell up. And then because of that, I don't have as many issues with bleeding as I used to with other products because of the fact that it doesn't swell. So I can get really close up to the top of that foil. All right, so I did a foil without teasing in between just to break it up a little bit. I didn't go all the way to the scalp. So it was a very uh, diffused back combed one underneath that, that was that one here. And then one that went a little bit closer to the scalp, um, a much finer section. And then this one is a back combed one and then I think we're gonna call it a day with that one. So this, these are all pretty much concentrated um, towards the front. So I would consider this a partial. 